Right then, this is Sheila. It's about the 4th of December 2017 and it's mild. The wind's okay. It's not a cold wind. Um, there's no hint of rain today. It's supposed to remain dry, but very grey, very dull, so the photography will not be so good. But I've already taken some of the images of Glastonbury Tor in the mist. I've just climbed up a massive hill from um, Westbury Submendip. I've climbed up, it's, it's just up and up and up and the first part of it is almost, not vertical, but it is Oh, I had to stop so many times, I really did. I was baking hot by the time I got to the top. Had to sort of take my coat off and uh, take some deep breaths and have a drink. Um, so this, because I've just climbed, I'm just, I've literally just climbed up onto the top of the Mendips. This is one of the other ways that you can do it. Whichever way you want to get on the Mendips, if you're walking, if you drive, you cheat and you go and park over there. If you if you don't cheat, you do the you do the proper hike. Right over there, I'm just zooming in because we'll be going somewhere else in a minute. I'll just get Glastonbury. There's Glastonbury toilet. I might have done it with this camera a year ago. I don't think so. No, no, because I no, I had a different camera. Um, the other one was twenty. This is thirty. This has got the viewfinder and the flash. Flip up flash. So here I am, everyone. On top, nearly on top of the Mendips. There's been warnings of bull, but fortunately, I think the cows have probably been removed within the last couple of days from in here. Like I said, I'm trying to squeeze in when it's not the season of the cow. The, there were, there are still cows about. I can see cows right over there, for example. Um, but soon they will be taken in. I don't know if they're fattened up anyway to, to be slaughtered. I've got no idea. Not the cows, the beef. But um, if we zoom in over there, we can see Brent Knoll, which I haven't done this year. It's nice to have a break sometimes from doing things. I often climb that from different... Sometimes I could climb it from one side and then or climb it from the other. George has been up there this year. <sighs> she wants to do Crook's Peak next. Um. And here we go, Cook's Field Nature Reserve. I've already taken photographs of this. And Lynchcombe Nature Reserve, a special place, flower rich in the summer. Um, and so we've just climbed up all the way up. Oh, it was very steep. Yeah, there are cows right there. There are often cows right over there. There's a car park over there where there's a blue van parked. Um, people who don't want to do the hike up here, which I don't blame them really, will park and then walk, do a circular. Now I have gone along there. There's a way I've done before now where I go along there and then nip across some fields that way. But I'm not doing that today. This has also got sign for bullion field um, but I think that's referring to in here um, there have been cows in here you can see the cow pack but um, it's been um, they've just been taken out I'd say right just got to put the camera down there's an old-fashioned style there I'm just going to climb over got to be careful it's a bit slippery Where I've rested my hand there, it's perfect for hand. It's almost as if someone's designed that, or it's just worn away with time to fit a hand in the in the style there. 
Yeah, so this is Sheila. I had a lovely walk yesterday with my daughter and two granddaughters up on the Quantox, a place called Greatwood. But today, um, what the only problem I got today is um, not time, it's light. But we can see, we can always come off at Draycott if, if I feel that it's going to be too dark. Um, getting back to Cheddar, we'll see. But I think I've got enough time. In fact, I'm going to check the time now. And the time is... 25 past 11. Now, I left... Western, the, I, I, I regard this as the start of the walk when I'm, when I'm here. As far as I'm concerned, this is the start of the walk now. Okay. Um, I left my home at uh, 20 to 9. It's nearly half 11 now. But it's taken me a good hour to climb up there, to be quite honest, because it's the, it wasn't just that one one or two fields. It was very steep coming out of the village of Westbury Submendit. Very, very steep indeed. And, um, yeah, so it's beautiful views all around there. Beautiful views, which we'll be saying goodbye to now. I've taken a few photos of Glastonbury. Well, I say there's no blue sky, so it will be quite, quite grey, really. Um, I always look forward to this walk, you know. Really, really look forward to it. But um, it does mean waiting for the, when it's not the cow season, because as you can see back there, there are signs all the way through those fields of a sign of a bull. They've only just taken those cows out. Um, and the bull, so you can tell from the cow pack it's very, very recently. So it's now not the season of the cow at this in this area, but there's several fields. There's about four or five fields further up um, and further over where the cows will be. Now, there's one field I know I normally always have to walk through them. But uh, I either walk round them a long way or they're down further and I can get along this track. Uh, that's at, at Draycott's Lights. That's a couple of hours away, yeah. A couple of hours away. I won't be climbing up Draycott's Lights like I did on the last walk, which I haven't put on. I haven't put that one on yet, actually. Um... Yeah, I did a, a shorter walk. I went from, I got the bus to Draycott, climbed up Draycott Slights and went back to Cheddar that way. I'm doing part of that today, but I've got a really big hike first. Right, I'm going to turn off for now, everyone, because I want to take a picture of this gorgeous view here. Over and out.